Hello everyone. I have received numerous comments and questions regarding my journey in DevOps and infrastructure. Many of you are curious about how to get started in this field, especially as a beginner. I would like to share my story, uh, which is filled with uh, struggles, learning, experience, and moment of perseverance. I hope it provides some inspiration and guidance for those of you who are just starting. In early 2019, I arrived in Bangalore with a heart full of dreams and very few skills. Hey, just kidding. I just passed out from my college and I came to Bangalore. My family encouraged me to move to Bangalore to find a job. Fortunately, my uncle was already there with his business, and he took care of my food and accommodation. So, so uh, I didn't even spend a single penny over there. I am incredibly grateful to them because uh, for the past four years I have been had to spend a single penny on these necessities. So the first week in Bangalore was a blissful time. I spent a lot of time with my uncle, uh, who took care of me to dinners and treated me with a great care, uh, gave me a sense of authority as their nephew. Uh, but after that first week, reality set in. Suddenly, I found myself facing multiple challenges. So being a new come to Bangalore uh, I had never visited such a big city before my primary language is malayalam so uh, I didn't know hindi english well financially also I was struggling with barely 500 rupees to my own. I applied for several jobs and received multiple calls but lack of english proficiency made it difficult to convince so there were few hrs I managed to convince but uh, I had no idea to how to navigate the vast city to attend my interviews. I missed two interviews uh, because I took the wrong bus and I ended up in a different location. I just want to explain one of the comedy situations which I faced. One interview was scheduled 30 kilometers away. And Google Maps led me to the opposite direction. I get down there and finally I realized, okay, this is not the right place. So I thought to come back to my PG. Uh, the problem is I don't know which bus has to take. After a few hours of confusion, uh, I didn't know which bus to take, right? So finally, I had to take an Uber and my uncle ended up paying, I think, close to 600 rupees. That In the beginning, it wasn't easy, uh, but finally, I landed a job uh, that provided some much needed support. Um, it was a small role and I remember the interview vividly. I didn't answer many of their questions correctly, but they still hired me. I don't know why. They provided training and uh, I was thrilled to be earning 13,000 rupees per month because it was a huge amount of that, that time for me. So being unmarried and uh, without any liabilities, uh, I could spend the entire amount freely in bankroll. I don't need to ask with anybody. Uh, a few months later, uh, some close friend they transitioned to networking domain and they called me and they said, Ashik, so I moved to this domain and I got a 30 to 40,000 now. So the moment I go to know that so, you know, this was huge surprise to me because 13,000 rupees felt substantial at a time. But after a few months, my friends are getting 30 to 40,000. So finally, my friends, they directed me to an institution and uh, they offered CCNA classes, CCNP classes. So which I found very interesting and I bought a book to record all the topics and I learned. A few weeks into the course, other friends suggested I have to take cloud course. Because they are saying, hey, this is the era of cloud, we have to take cloud class instead of taking CC. While cloud computing was established, it wasn't widely popular yet. So this was the first time, you know, I would have heard about the cloud computing course. Anyway, just curious, I inquired about the cloud computing course at the institution. And the manager suggested, okay, uh, you can attend both cloud and CC in a parallel. And uh, so finally you can decide whichever you want to go. Then I started attending cloud class as well as CCNA class both parallelly. And uh, I found that cloud classes are fascinating and very very interesting uh, comparatively CCNA. So when comparing the cost, the cloud course was 20,000 rupees whereas CCNA and CCNP I have to pay 70,000 rupees. Even I don't have any idea of the future of cloud computing. But finding it financially suitable for me. So I chose the cloud course and began attending classes. So after three months, uh, all the classes are all good. And uh, I realized I only had the basics down. Okay, because the tutor only have the basic knowledge about the cloud and Linux, Python scripting. And he just handed over to me. 
now i have only very basics very basics but in interview they are asking you know very massive questions uh, definitely if i attend the interview definitely i won't be able to answer the questions see uh, my approach into learning has always been thorough i wanted to understand everything from a to z so there was a situation i remember so where i asked a question to my tutor uh, about a dns record okay and their types and uh, he didn't know the answer and he said hey ashik uh, we don't want to go to in depth okay so you only have to learn the basics uh, which is fair enough but see uh, obviously my fear was see if an interviewer is asking this question to me so what should i what should i say should i say okay this is you know very complicated this is uh, in depth so i don't want to learn this since i'm a newbie i only have to learn the basics so uh, that took matters into my own hands and started learning independently so just think about 2 to 3 years back you can just retrospect to 3 years back so uh, no free classes no youtube devops classes no abhishek veeramala right how to learn that so this was another challenging for me see i can see multiple document but i don't know how to do this how to i don't know how to implement this because even i don't have a basic concept so i read on aws documentation some open forums uh, stack overflow and learned many things that weren't taught in class so meanwhile i got an opportunity to train the institution students as well so uh, there are multiple students they have started asking questions to me so i cannot say right hey i know i don't know this because uh, i don't know this because my tutor he didn't talk to me so i cannot tell like that so what i have done i spent you know like uh, extra hours maybe 3 or 4 hours and one more thing so this questions this has really motivated me to learn all the concept in depth because i cannot ex- expect what kind of question the students is asking so i started learning everything so during that institution time i made many friends at the institution and we formed a study team and every day we studied 13 to 16 hours and you know one thing i left my bike at the pg and i spent my travel time in study so we usually would arrive at the institution at early morning 7 am so then we will leave at 10 pm so till that 10 pm we will be in institution only so we will go through multiple forums we will go through multiple tools and we will learn that so finally uh, we planned to attend interviews and i faced several rejection due to the interview anxiety because i don't know how to attend this interviews so there are multiple friends they suggested and they uh, asked ashik if possible can you record the interview videos okay because they also have a stage fear so they just want to know like what kind of questions they are asking and they can audit on the question that they can learn so i started recording my uh, interview videos so i can also improve my you know like communication i can also improve my interviews so uh, see which is why you can find many of the interview videos in youtube right now because all all of them i recorded first i received offers from multiple companies uh, 8 lpa 12 lpa 13 lpa so initially i was getting i think 5 uh, 5 lakh yeah 5 lakh something then i bargained then i got 9 lpa then 12 lpa finally 13 lpa even i got 16 lpa as well but uh, i have to forcefully go to this 13 lpa due to some reasons and you know one thing uh, many of my friends didn't even get placed uh, because see they were very lazy and learning just for a job whereas for me it was a passion the lesson i have learned is the theory alone isn't enough practical application is a key so when you want to learn something read about it if you want to understand write it down and if you want to master it teach it to others okay okay guys so thank you for watching my video and i wish you all the best in your devops journey uh, with the determination and perseverance